Okay, what I have here to review today is a, <clears throat> my M1 carbine. I'm, I know that this is a World War II one, if anybody is wondering. It doesn't have the bayonet latch hook thing, whatever, buckle, whatever, I don't know. The adapter for the um, bayonet. It doesn't have that, and I think, I'm not sure, but I think that means it's a, uh, fuck, M maybe early war? If anybody can tell me, that'd be great. It does have the round slide, which is late war. And this is, I th I'm pretty sure this is a Winchester one, it has it labeled on it. Let's see what happens. Um, here I might just have to read it myself. Anyway, I can barely read that. It's under this site, and the site is a late war one. Shit. I uh, I think that's because you know the design. That's more of a late war design. It has the cleaning kit and the sling. The sling is OD, and mag, I don't know how to date the mags, but you know, it's a carbine mag. It fires very nicely, uh, it overheats, you know, it overheats quite a bit, or I don't know, this, spe this specific one does. You got some more information, US carbine caliber 30 and you know, the slide works great it's been oiled I've oiled it cleaned it up it's a 1944 um, way way I can tell is because oh God, come on it literally says 1942 on there Come on. It is faded like almost all the way on the 19, but you can see the 1 and then the 44 and half of the 9 above the flaming bone. There you go. Yeah. You see the two 4s and then the 1 right there. And the 9 is barely even there anymore. But, you know. That's that. It is a really nice gun. Um. I won't be using this for any impressions because I have I do a grand impression. Speaking of the grand, I'll do a review of that pretty soon after this, hopefully. Because I got I got quite a few World War Two guns to show. It's a nice gun. If you got any questions or answers to some of my questions, go ahead and uh, yeah, comment below. If you liked it, comment about it, you know, you know the drill. I don't care. Well, see ya.